In this video I will show all the different ways to save your precious photos and footage made with the Mini 3 and 3 Pro according to the device you want to use a computer, a smartphone or a tablet. To transfer the file to a computer the best way is to use a mini SD card. The Mini 3 accepts mini cards with a capacity of 256 GB versus 512 for the Mini 3 Pro. I find that the 128 GB is more than enough. To transfer the file from a mini SD card to a computer, we need an adapter from mini SD to SD and a card reader that attaches to the computer via USB. They are very affordable and you will find links to the one I use in the description and in the comments. Some computers have an SD card slot, in which case the card reader is not needed. When the card is connected to the computer, a folder named USB drive will be visible. Open it in a new window and then open the file DCIM and then the folder named 100 media containing the footage and the photos. We can then drag the files to the desired storage location. The Mini 3 and 3 Pro have a very modest internal storage of 1.25 GB. It can store a decent amount of photos, but only a couple of minutes of footage. There is no reason to use the internal storage, but it comes very handy when we forget to bring an SD card with us or when the internal memory card fills up while shooting photos or footage. The good news is that it is possible to transfer the files very quickly. Let's start with a computer. Maybe we have brought a laptop on location, so we can quickly transfer the file to the hard drive, format the internal storage, and start shooting some more footage or photos. The procedure is the same as when using a desktop computer at home. I have a blog dealing with the same topic as this channel, but it is mostly structured around text. In the case of technical topics like this one, if you are looking for a specific answer, it can be faster to find it on my blog. Have a look at it, you will find a link in the description below. The Mini 3 and 3 Pro have a tendency to overheat when they are switched on and not flying. In the tab camera of settings there is an option for USB mode. When it is selected the aircraft will enter a low power state to prevent overheating. The remote controller can now be switched off as it is not needed for the transfer of the files. We connect the drone to a USB slot in the computer by using the USB-C cable supplied with the drone. Switch on the drone and the folder with the content of the internal memory of the drone will be available. The structure of the folder is the same as we have seen previously. If you want to transfer the photos and videos from the drone to a remote device, a smartphone or a tablet, it is possible to use the quick transfer mode much faster than a simple download. The remote controller is not needed, but the DJI Fly app must be installed on the remote device. I will be using a tablet, but the procedure is the same if using a smartphone. After opening the wings, switch on the drone and then launch the DJI Fly app. On the lower left corner, a message will prompt you to switch to quick transfer mode. After hitting switch, a prompt will appear to join the Wi-Fi network of the aircraft. After hitting join, the tablet is connected to the drone and the battery level of the aircraft is shown together with a button to access the album. By tapping on it, all the photos and videos contained in the SD card of the drone will be shown. If there is no memory card inserted, the content of the internal memory will be shown. 
On the top left of each thumbnail there is an icon with a downward arrow. By tapping on it we access a preview of the clip or photo containing the same icon at the bottom right. By tapping on it the clip is downloaded. We can go back to the previous screen displaying the thumbnail through the arrow on the top left. At the top left of the screen the progress of the download is shown. Using quick transfer the download is very fast, up to about 25 megabytes per second, which means that the 1.2 gigabyte of internal storage of the Mini 3 can be downloaded in less than a minute in ideal conditions without strong interference. By tapping on the icon at the top right of the screen it is possible to download several files at once by selecting them and then hitting the download icon. By tapping on batch select all the files will be selected for download. In case we have forgotten to bring an SD card with us we can use the small internal storage of the Mini 3 Pro containing a couple of minutes of video and about 40 high resolution photos. Once the memory is full we can bring the drone back home, use quick transfer to download the content of the remote device in about a minute, format the internal storage and have another go. Then repeat until we have some battery left. But we can do even better if using the RCN1 controller as it is possible to use quick transfer while flying. By tapping on the icon below the shutter we access the album and then the second icon from the right at the top bring us to quick transfer mode. After downloading the files we can leave quick transfer mode by tapping on the same icon which will turn white from yellow. We can then format the internal storage and resume shooting video and photos. Sadly with the RC controller with a built-in screen it is not possible to access quick transfer mode while flying. Click on this link to watch my guide to the Mini 3 Pro where you will find all the basic functionality